and thank everyone for coming this afternoon. What a joy, what a joy today for us to be able to celebrate. I want to thank uh, our Maggie Malone, our new fine arts supervisor. She's new thank to you. our team. I also want to thank Consumers Energy and Art Prize, along with our mayor for being here today. We are really excited to share um, all of the talent that our students have in the Grand Rapids Public Schools. My name is Teresa Weather O'Neill. I am your superintendent of the Grand Rapids Public Schools. And again, we are here to share special thanks with Consumers Energy and Art Prize to announce our special new student art competition known as Smart Art. I love the name, Smart Art. <laughs> Consumers Energy approached us not long ago and they came up with the idea of creating this student art competition that will that blends art along with environmental stewardship and sustainability and then taking that particular project and elevating so all of the world can see what we have to offer here in the Grand Rapids Public Schools we also are able to see our top 10 uh, students will be shared at the art prize uh, announcement ceremony that's going to come up in the fall Today, we are just really pleased that we've taken this idea now to the next level, and you can see it here in this room, all of the talent of our children here from our students in the Grand Rapids Public Schools. We have our top 20 finalist uh, pictures and the short stories, read the short stories, from our students in the district. We want to congratulate not only our students, but the teachers and all of those that helped to make this a reality for our kids. We want to thank the parents as well as our administrators um, for this opportunity. I am just absolutely amazed, amazed at what these students were able to do. Just really proud to represent the Grand Rapids Public Schools and the talent in this room. I want to sh turn this over now to Roger, Roger Morgenstein, the Public Information Director at Consumers Energy, and Roger is going to share more. And I want to apologize for the air, you guys. It's hot under these lights. We, we want to turn it up more so right. we can sell more power to Grand Rapids Public Schools. Yeah. <laughs> Green energy, I'm sure, Mayor. I'm sure. Right. But Thank, thanks, thanks to all of you. Roger. Thank you, Superintendent Neal. It's great to be here. Uh, Roger Morganstrom with Consumers Energy. Uh, 2013 marks the third year that Consumers has been part of Art Prize. Uh, in 2012, we sponsored the top 10, but this year, and we're doing that again, but this year we're doing it with a little bit different twist. And first, I want to I want to thank from our Grand Rapids office, Lori Burrell. She's one of our corporate account managers here, and she's here in the audience. This is her brainchild. I, she had the vision, and those of us up here are just running with it. So uh, we really wanted to uh, involve the children here in Grand Rapids and to do something even more uh, with Art Prize. So we're just happy, to, we're really happy to be here. So when we make the uh, top 10 announcement on September 29th, we'll be announcing the top 10 uh, public voting winners for Art Prize, which is part of our sponsorship with Art Prize. But we're also gonna be announcing the top 10 uh, winners of this competition. Today we're gonna talk about our, our 20 semifinalists. So we're excited uh, today. We're also gonna be pleased to be on stage at Rosa Park Circle and we hope all the student artists are there uh, to share in the excitement on the 29th of September. Uh, the caring for Michigan uh, communities is, is uh, that we serve as our promise to Michigan. As part of that promise, we decided to join forces with the schools and to celebrate art created by tomorrow's artists, today's students. We think, I, I, you know, looking around the room, I think we're going to see some of these now kids as uh, art prize entries before too long. So um, we're excited that GRPS Fine Arts Director Maggie Malone and her colleagues jumped at this opportunity. I mean, literally jumped. She was so excited. Her excitement helped, helped us say, okay, let's do it. Let's make, let's make this happen. You know, because this was our first year, uh, we limited, uh, I think, most of the entries to the high schools. But by the number of entries that we received in such a short amount of time, I think you see the excitement and the interest. We're looking forward to a long-term partnership with GRPS about this. Um, I'm reminded of a quote by Pablo Picasso. Uh, Every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once we grow up. So thank you, Pablo. I mean, but it's a great, it's a great way to see these kids. And I, I, have, I have teenagers. I've got one graduating from high school on Sunday. 
and it's it, it, the excitement through creativity that you all have at this age is wonderful. Hold on to it. Don't have that part of you grow up because that you'll you'll be a great part of society with this type of creativity. So, uh, like uh, in a little bit, Maggie's going to announce the uh, the top twenty. Uh, when we announce the top ten in September, there will be an overall winner, which will, who will receive a one thousand dollar scholarship from the Michigan Education Trust, courtesy of Consumers Energy. Some of the other prizes that will be awarded to the top ten include iPads, uh, uh, laptops, gift certificates. Uh, so some exciting prizes. I want an iPad, but hey, I didn't, I didn't enter. That's, I'm not a student here. It's pretty obvious by my gray hair I couldn't be a student here. So, But uh, we're excited to, to, to offer some incentive to the kids uh, that, are, that have made the entries. Making those top ten decisions will be our esteemed panels of adjudicators who Lori Burrell has helped uh, uh, round up, uh, representing Grand Valley State University, Grand Rapids Community College, and Kendall Arden Design at Ferris State University. I don't know if they're here today. I don't think they were able to make it, but we're really pleased that they're going to be helping us uh, judge the, 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 for the finalists. And I think they'll have some great comments and some constructive comments that the kids, I think, will really take with them. So, so we're great that they're, they're going to be part of it. The top winners will be displayed, the, the overall winner will be displayed on the wall of our substation. You may say, what's a substation? Well, there's this big brick wall across from the Bob. That gives you a better idea. That's where we, uh, we have a lot of our equipment. But it's a big brick wall at Fulton and Monroe. Uh, and the mayor's familiar with it because we had some issues there a few weeks ago with flooding. <laughs> issues are resolved now. And we're going to turn that wall into a, a work of art with the top winner uh, displayed on that wall. And, and thanks to a more signs, we're going to have a smaller sign uh, in the area of the substation showing the other semifinalists will be on a, on a board so they'll be able to be able to ever see everybody up in light so so the the theme and I, I know the mayor will talk about this a little bit but the theme of renewable energy energy efficiency and sustainability is very important to consumers energy our green generation program is one of the longest standing uh, renewable energy programs of like of its kind in the United States to participate Businesses and residents pay a small premium, a little bit more on their electric bill every month to help promote and uh, uh, encourage uh, renewable energy in Michigan. I remember quite clearly a few years ago, Mayor Hartwell signing his name to be one of the first green generation customers uh, in, in the state when we launched the program a number of years ago. Uh, in fact, it would come as no surprise that Kent County has the highest part um, uh, uh, what do they call it? Per capita, excuse me, per capita green generation participation in the state. And we know that is really led by Mayor Hartwell in the city of Grand Rapids. We also are, are big into energy efficiency. Uh, we've, that is part of the 2008 energy law. And in last year, Consumers Energy awarded over $17 million in incentives for energy efficiency programs, saving those customers some 28, uh, 20 million dollars in energy savings. And I'm glad to say that GRPS is one of the participants in our energy efficiency program. So they're making the investment to help save uh, their district and, and you know, more money for the kids in the classroom. So we're glad that they're part of that. Well, I'd like to uh, now re uh, introduce Angela DeLucia Placentia. Pretty close, you know, with a name like Morgan Stern, I should know. But Angela is the education manager for our prize. We're really excited that she's she's here today. Well, thank you, and uh, thank you for inviting me to say a few words. Um, Art Prize is pleased to have Consumers Energy return as a sponsor for the Top 10 announcement uh, this year, which will take place on September 29th. Um, we're also excited about this partnership uh, between Consumers Energy and the Grand Rapids Public Schools. Um, Art Prize is an organization that uh, strongly believes in programs that engage the community in contemporary art. Um, we believe that art presents an amazing opportunity uh, to expand the creativity of all people, and most importantly, our, our children and uh, young people. Uh, platforms which encourage a child to take action and do something are especially valued. And this year, Art Prize is launching our first ever um, Education Youth Advisory Committee, which a couple of our committee members are actually sitting in this room, which is it's always great to see. Um, and this committee is going to um, help Art Prize create programs that will further engage young people and give them more of a voice in the Art Prize competition, give them the spotlight that they that they deserve. Um, so um, also the uh, 
the Grand Rapids Public Schools Consumers Energy and Art Prize all emphasize sustainability, which is very, very important. So we're glad to see that this competition um, focuses on energy efficiency and uh, renewable energy. So um, Art Prize looks forward to working with Consumers Energy uh, as we lead up to Art Prize 2013, uh, which runs from September 18th to October 6th. So please make sure you come downtown and, and cast your vote if you're over the age of 16. If not, um, it's still fun to come down and see all the cool stuff that's going on. So thank you. Great. Mayor? Thank you very much, uh, Roger. Well, uh, it's a delight to be here today and, uh, and to be joined by our state representative, uh, Brandon Dillon, in the, uh, in the audience. Thanks for being out, uh, Representative Dillon. Um, you know, this is, this is sort of the, the perfect harmonious alignment, isn't it, uh, of, of, of uh, youth and art and energy, uh, you know, all coming together in one, one project. Uh, I, just, I just think that's really cool. Um, because, uh, but what we've got here is, first of all, keep it in mind, we've got um, uh, the, 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 the world's, can I say that, Angela? The world's top uh, art competition that's held annually in Grand Rapids. Huh? Uh, and we've got, let me say it's the world's best uh, uh, ut uh, public uh, electric utility uh, in you. consumers' you energy. I'm, I'm right on that one at least, <laughs> aren't I, Roger? I'm right on point on that one. Um, uh, a, a, an organization that is indeed committed to uh, renewable energy and has been a great partner for the city of Grand Rapids as we've, as we've uh, worked to achieve uh, our goal of 100% uh, renewable energy by the year 2020, uh, a, 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 an aggressive goal, but one that we believe is uh, eminently achievable with the uh, help of, uh, of, of good friends and partners like we have in, in Consumers Energy. Um, and, and then, well, should we just say it? The world's greatest school district, uh, Grand Rapids Public Schools. Uh, uh, <laughs> absolutely. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and just to, to look around, to see the talent, to meet some of the artists uh, that are here today, to, uh, it, it is really encouraging. And when you can bring those all together in, in, in one time, in one place, in one event, I think it's really pretty spectacular. Uh, and so I want to I want to thank consumers for uh, for this opportunity. Uh, thank Art Price for incorporating it into uh, into your program. Thank you, Madam Superintendent, for your great partnership and for the incredible students you're turning out. Won't it be a wonderful day uh, in Grand Rapids and in every district uh, across this state and country when we can can truly fully fund the arts the way they should be funded? And I know the superintendent uh, 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 would echo a hearty uh, amen to that because uh, uh, it is so much a part of the of the uh, educational or ought to be so much a part of the educational experience of a, of a young person and. Uh, uh, and, and we see the evidence of, uh, of the talent that we have in our district with us today. So um, thanks for uh, allowing me to uh, uh, sort of uh, pop in on your, on your press conference here. Uh, I don't have any, any role in this except for bragging rights for being the city where the greatest, uh, the, the, great, the world's greatest uh, schools and, and uh, utility and, and, uh, and art competition is held. I was here primarily. My role is to introduce Maggie Malone, who is the, uh, <laughs> uh, who is the uh, supervisor for the fine arts uh, program for the Grand Rapids Public Schools and uh, is going to make uh, the announcement today. Well, thank you, Mayor. I appreciate that. And I am so honored to be here to be sort of part of such an amazing new project. And I get the best part, in my opinion, because I get to announce the students. These are our top 20 students. Morgan Barber, Cultivating Thoughts from City High. Eden Bennett from Creston. Emily Sicola, Flourishing from City. Gabriel Campbell from Creston. Allison Carlton, The Roots of Nature from Triunity Christian. Aaron Eastman, Rewards from City. Isabel Flickema, Treebine. You'll have to check that one out. From City, um, Darisha Garman and Antoine Eastley from Ottawa, Cheyenne Gidden from Ottawa, Alex Hardy, Mother Nature Rising from City, Raula Hassani, Human Minds Exp 
Humans must expand their minds like the blooms of a flower from Union, Kaya Henderson, Enlightenment from City, Daniel Lopez. Part of yours is cut off, Daniel. Can you announce your title? Illusions. Illusion or reality. Renewable energy from City. Hussein from um, Ottawa, and his last name is Muhammad Ali, famous in his own right, of course. Jordan Morrison and Roxanne Cabrera from Ottawa. Mia Murphy, Progression, Hope, and Revival from City. Rolando Torres, Dominic Russell from Ottawa. Shailen Rosario and Jeffrey Marti from Ottawa. Alicia Williams from Ottawa, and Cindy Show, The Bright Idea from City. At that time, now that we've announced everything, um, all of our information, do you guys want to share something? I'd like to ask the students to if they would like to share. And you don't have to if you don't want to. Well, um, mine is called illusion or reality, a renewable energy, because um, I think that either we can make re like our Earth a sustainable environment and make it a reality, or we can just ha make it like an illusion. Mm -hmm. and. Um, and I thought that this project was really fun, and I got to express myself through the arts and with renewal, with the importance of renewal energy. And um, yeah, that's it out there. Um, well, my project had the idea of sort of integrating different themes of the earth element and of nature to discuss this topic of renewable energy, working with this concept of um, sort of showing how renewable energy will sort of have Mother Nature rise from what was damaged and sort of have a renewable lifestyle, perhaps. Yeah. Again, on behalf of the Grand Rapids Board of Education, I really would like to thank the students, our teachers, Consumers Energy, and Art Prize. Can't thank you all enough. All right, terrific. Yeah, this is exciting.